Hello everyone. We're back to Dark Visions, final area of Fleet 1 to get our perfect score. We fixed our elements on the uh, cover tank. So, the rest of the team's pretty much the same. Knock this space form pretty much naked. And then, shift, we're focused on his jump. So we got 300 human, 800 jump for him. Cacteria, limit fill for a base. Max Crystal is 800 boost, and Shift is Magic and Killers. So that's 180 human for her. Milia ignoring base, so her Shift, Fire and Ice Resist, Spirit, and some Killers. 200 human for her. Elric's base is just some limit fill. 750 boost, max crystals, if it matters. And shift, we're uh, limit focus. 275 human, 300 limit. Noppy, base pretty much naked. And then uh, shift, just chain damage with some killers and attack. 275 human killer there. And Ling. Passive draw attacks, full of aid, both forms. Limit fill in the base. 850 boost, max crystals. Dragon's brush, call the wild. Shift gives her some killers, still our provoker and evasion. Three hundred human there. Let's jump in. Alright, turn one. Noctis. We're gonna shift. Unlock his stuff. So, Dawn, Light, and Cooldown. Amelia. I'm gonna do Cover. And Magnus. Cacteria is going to shift. We're just gonna do Drought. Ling will shift. So we're going to rally dance. We're going to put up Mirage. And do her Magnus just for filling. Noppy is going to stack up Barrage. So just a triple Barrage there. Elrix, we're just going to do Magnus. Alright, turn two. Noctis is just going to boost jump. Amelia is going to do Flora for her killer. And then Earthly Pollen to Earth Boost the team. Noppy is then going to mimic the killer. And then we can mimic Elrix because whatever. We're going to do their base Magnus though for the modifier boost as well. Ling, we can go to base. So we're going to enthrall. I guess we'll combo step and celestial dance. Cacteria goes to base. So we're going to desert. We're going to faith and teamwork. Elrix can just uh, get up, I guess. Right, 
Amelia is going to do her limit. Nappy's going to shift, and we're going to hope we don't hit the threshold. Because we want to do a limit. Okay. That worked out. Now Ling. We need human killer. We need twirl for mirage. And I guess combo step again is fine. Cacteria. Base limit. And Elrix. Guess we'll just do both their unlocks. And Noctis can just jump. Noctis is going to land, Elrix are going to shift, we're going to have them do their limit burst. Cacteria is going to shift, we're going to bolting. Go with the earth one, Amelia is going to be a bolting chain partner. Nappy is going to barrage. And Ling is going to SR chain with. That should do it. Yeah. Cleared the damage with a bit of extra. So, Noppy did the most. And then Elrix and Noctis were pretty close. Melia and Cacteria were close too. But, not bad. And there we go. First fight, perfect score. So now we can move on to the second one. Okay, we're up to the second fight in the final area doing a fire-based team, although we're going to kind of be dual element. We're going to see how this works out. So, we got Terra. Resist don't really matter. We just need to not be negative with the way that we're going to do things. But we gave her Lion Emblem in the base form. And then her shift, just LB focus as usual. So, 220 Esper, 300 Evo, and Limit. Louise in the base form, just a bunch of LB fill stuff. So, we're looking at 650 rate with max crystals. And then shift, LB focus. So we got 300 dragon, 300 limit. Still got 8 crystals per turn. Aerith's uh, base form. Lots of limit fill. We also gave her the call and dragon's brush. So we got 900 boost and 11 crystals per turn. And then her shift will just set up for some magic damage. So she's got 125 dragon. Cacteria's base, just a bunch of LB fill stuff. 700 rate boost, max crystals. And then her shift, we have some magic and some killers. So we got 250 dragon for her, no limit damage. 
Elena's base form is set to be magic heavy. And we got uh, 150 dragon there. And then we have her shift form. We gave her lion's emblem. Nothing really there. And then we have Starlight, who we're only using the base. And she is set as our evasion provoker. So 100% draw attacks and 100% evasion. No killers. But she's here mostly for a light and peril. And then just a chaining partner. Alright, let's see if this works out. Alright, so Elena, we're just going to shift, and we're going to do her elemental buff, because we're going to kill before we have to worry about things. Essentially, we're going for, hopefully, turn 4 to kill, so we won't have to worry about the in peril and stuff. So, we'll have her Azure, just in case, but, uh, going to do the refrag, that's going to be 100 to all the resists. Alright, now everybody else, we're going to see if we can get a 100 chain in there. So, triple chaos with Terra, and we'll have Cacteria be her partner. Just triple chaos there. Louise and Aerith are going to quad chaos. And Starlight, we're just going to add in some bolting. Oh. That was a bad tap. Still got the 100, so we're fine. Alright, so chain is taken care of. Okay, so now, let's see, how do we want to do things? So, Aerith, base form, we're going to do her limit. Before we do that, though, we're going to shift Louise over, and we're going to have her just do Gun in Peril, hopefully not doing too much damage here. And now Aerith's base form is going to do Limit. Terra, we're going to Rally Cry, so we'll have Elena Rally as well, Let's see Starlight, and auto attack, just generate some crystals, actually she should have been in base already, but that's fine. And let's see, Cacteria. Just have her auto attack too. Alright, now we gotta get ready. So Terra's gonna prep a limit. So we're just going to burst, release, barrier, everything's good there. Louise, we're going to put into base, let's see, before we do her stuff, because we are going to hit the boss a little bit, let's see, figure out who's hitting so we do less damage here. Alright, so Elena, we're going to do her Magnus for the Sword and Peril. Okay, thankfully that wasn't that bad. And and via Elena, we're going to do, is it, yeah, we're going to Stella for the Light and Peril. Aerith will shift, we'll deal with her in a second. Cacteria. Uh, 
So I need to do a bigger defense there. We'll do a little bit of fist and peril. And let's see, swords, swords. We got a sword in peril. We got our gun in peril. Yeah, we'll just cactus break it, whatever. Alright, so Louise. Now we're going to diverse for the killer. I need to base Magnus. We need to fire starter. And. Honestly, it doesn't matter what I do for the last cast, because it doesn't matter, so whatever. Because Aerith is going to do Ardent Prayer, and that's going to give everybody a fire boost and fire in view. So we're good to kill it this next turn. Once everybody's done casting. Alright, Terra's going to do her limit. Louise, we don't have a stacked up, but it's fine. We'll shift and do her limit. Aerith, we're going to quad tag. Cacteria's going to shift. We'll do her limit. Elena. Just triple bolting. And Starlight is going to be a bolting partner. Alright, let's see what kind of damage we get out of here. So start Terra first. Ten point five. So I mean we were a dual element because a lot of them were doing physical type magic attacks, so they got both the light and the fire in view. So, Terra did the most because she wasn't restricted by dual elements. Louise wasn't stacked up. Cacteria wasn't that bad either, though. That is our perfect run, though. So that is the first two fights in the final area. We got perfect, so now it's just time to work on the final fight. But we're going to save that for a different video. So we're going to end this one here. Hope everybody enjoyed.